Hi everyone, my name is Tony Willey and welcome to another exciting episode of Skyrim Special Edition Mod Tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to download and install SSE Edit for Skyrim Special Edition using Mod Organizer 2. Today I'm going to show you how to download and install correctly so it gives you, it's very easy to use. So the first thing you're going to want to do is download it manually of course. You may want to use 7-Zip to unzip it. I use 7-Zip all the time. Click the link here. It'll take you to it so you can download it. Okay. Now, you're going to go to your download folder, right? You're going to find your zip file. What I do is I create myself a Skyrim Special Edition folder, and I have my mods, my tools, my pictures. All my stuff for Skyrim Special Edition is usually in here. Now, I, I open this up, and I actually add in the uh, file over here. Okay, I drop it in here and then we're good to go. Now the first thing you're going to do is is basically unzip it. Now once it's unzipped, you're going to notice down here it says Skyrim SSE Edit here, right? Awesome. I make sure all your scripts that you want are in there as well. Now what we want is this right here. So we're gonna go. We're gonna load up Mod Organizer 2. We're gonna go up here. We're gonna go to Edit. We're gonna click here. We're gonna go SSE Edit. We're gonna go to Binary. Click on it. We're gonna navigate to our uh, our little folder where we put that. Okay. Mine's on my desktop. In my folder, I'm going to my Mod Tools. SSE Edit here. And all you need is the executable. Click on that. Click Open. Click Add. Done. Now, if you want to load it, you, it's actually several ways to do it. So you click on here, and there's SSD. You can click Run, and it'll, it'll open it up for you. And you know it's working when you see all your mods, right? That's how you know it's working properly. Okay, we're going to get out of here. Now, there's another way to open it. You can click Toolbar, and it'll be on your toolbar through Mod, uh, mod Organizer 2. Click here, SSD Edit. Up oh, there it goes. Everything's loaded up properly. Click out of here. Or you can throw it to your uh, through your desktop. SSC edits here. Click on that. Loads up, and there's all your mods. So if you guys just want to have like different shortcuts through here, now let's say you want to change the image. We'll go to properties, change icon. We're gonna to browse to our SSC edit image, which is gonna be on our desktop. There's the image, click OK, click Apply, click OK, and there you have it. That's how you change the image as well. So if you want a, a desktop there, or you can also have a start menu. So, I'm going to get rid of these, and I'll keep my shortcut, these two here. I usually like to have it up here once in a while. Or if I'm feeling, if, if I'm in the mood to mess with SSC Edit, I'll keep it to my desktop. And that's how you use it. That's how you download it and install it. And um, if you have any other questions for SSC Edit, I will make tutorials on how to make merge patches again through uh, Mod Organizer 2. All right, everyone, what do you think? Do you guys like the simplicity of Mod Organizer 2? Let me know in the comment section down below with SSC Edit. If you guys like my videos, please go ahead, like, and share with your friends. If you guys like my channel, please go ahead and subscribe. Once again, my name is Tony Willey. Thank you so much for the click, and I will see you next time.